no, that's no. a culture, cultural, uh, cultural, cultural, <laughs> cultural. Red monkey trucking. Oh, ah, ah, ah. So, this is Red Monkey Trucking. How you doing today, everybody? I'm Eric, and this is. Do you want me to say my name? Yeah. <laughs> yes. My name's Laura. Uh, I we I'm going to talk about something that I've tried to stay out of, of the drama between um, a few truck drivers that uh, are pr pretty prolific YouTubers. Um, you got Bubba Nesbitt, James Henley. Uh, of course, you got the big dog. Jay Cannell and a few others you know I'm not trying to mention everybody and all that it's just they they've they've been involved with what's going on with Red Viking Trucker in the past and his lies and his deceit and his his bigger concern about money than his family um you know um I think the whole thing with you know, his daughter ended up making the video. I think that was just, all that stuff went a little too far because, I mean, I understand. I think it was more of a cry f for help, you know, of, for her. Maybe that last chance her dad would see it and change his mind and, and come and apologize. Of course, he made a video <laughs> about it in response and not once did he apologize. He literally put the blame on her. And it, like it was, you know, no big deal. And that's what narcissists do. And the narcissists won't change because they never think they're wrong about anything. Um, one thing that gets me, man, is just, and I knew it was going to happen. There was a poll on, somebody put a poll up. I forgot who it was, but I, I put on it like it was how many days or how many, how long to a uh, um, red Viking trucker quits his current job well that just happened and I put 29 days you way overestimated it. <laughs> a lot of people put like two months some people put the rest of the year until or till uh, till the cold weather hits um, I think it's been five days since that that uh, that poll was put up or that uh, you know you, where you could put in and what his next job would be after that and I put Swift um, you know, it's just the man's had, I think this is now eight jobs, I think, and is what's been told. And I would just like to give a history on my opinion about him. The first time I started seeing his videos, one of them was about how, uh, like some car like flew in the yard, somebody's yard. He, all these big stories. You know, everybody's got that one friend in a group that always makes these stories up out of nowhere. He's always got a story for something, right? And I was like, this this dude's got clickbait. Oh, he's out here, he's just out here to make money. He ain't out here to better the trucking industry. He ain't out here to like. He definitely ain't making a hundred thousand dollars off of his truck driving when he can't stay at one job. I'm sorry, but if I was making six digits at a truck job, I would sure the fuck would be staying there, no matter how bad or or things weren't exactly good for a few days. You know, his reason for leaving was uh, the rates dropped, so he's out of there. Uh, he did put a, a live feed earlier, um, and I just saw it because it finally came back up. Was, I guess YouTube had a problem with some live videos or something. Something went wrong with a few people, but anyway, I just, I think that he's probably one of the fakest people I've ever seen on YouTube, especially when it comes to truck driver, uh, YouTube accounts, you know, for trucking. He's he's not I don't he's not out here to help anything. He's charging people for coaching calls. I'm sorry, but if you don't have five years of experience out here and uh you shouldn't be out here trying to give people advice like like coaching calls, charging money. You know, I've heard the money if he makes that much, you know, it's off of a sponsorship, it's off of a YouTube, and it's off of kickbacks from companies for recruiting people where he was at. So the problem is, I think that he's in that oil field up there, and it, they ain't worried about recruiting nobody because it's a, it's a more small confined 
little units there, and it ain't like no big, huge companies like FedEx and stuff like he was before, so he can't make that money off of it. They're not bringing people in constantly. Um, honestly, the way he looked in his video, it looked, it, just the look on his face is like, it, it seemed like he's lying about just leaving, like the rates dropped. Like he just came up with that. I think that it might come out that he got fired. And it's probably for putting shit out there like holding your trolley brake going down a mountain with a 100,000 pound low behind you and not using your, your truck brakes. And he's like, I just, uh, uh, like, what in the hell were you thinking, man? I, I drive a regular drive van. I work for a company. We are team drivers, so we make good, we make, we survive and we're saving money. We're doing good. You know, maybe in the future we might move on, but for now, we're treated good where we're at. And they treat us with respect. I have a great fleet manager. He goes out of his way to take care of us. And we're going to do that. We're going to stay here. I'm not going to be hopping around going places and, and just destroying my record. Because once people start seeing that, that's eight jobs now. You know, he's going to really have to beg them with that whole, I got a YouTube account that's got a lot of people I can help recruit and make you money. That's about it. That's really the only thing that might get him a job. Um, but you could tell in the video, it just, it just seemed like he was not telling the truth, like he always is. I mean, you could, he looked exhausted in his face, too. He looked like he, honestly, if you look at him, he looked like he'd been crying or something, like, like he was upset. So that's why I kind of think, like, some, he just something's wrong, like he got fired. And I guarantee you, if he got fired, it probably had something to do with uh, how he wasn't driving that truck right and putting people in danger, putting himself in danger, putting others in danger. I'm not really up on Red Viking Trucker too much. Uh, I haven't really watched his videos. I only know what Eric has told me. So I don't really have an opinion because I don't feel like I can judge people. Um, Except for, <laughs> except for Joe Denny. I'll judge him. <laughs> we'll have a video That's about why that we're too. trying to do live video. Or we're going to do a, uh, a, reaction, a reaction video, video on, to uh, Mr. Joe Denny and Greg Anderson with no, Black yeah. Smoke Matters. Sitting there drinking the damn beer talking about the industry. <laughs> you you just, have to admit, he's entertaining. He's entertaining, yes. I, I, I was going to write a post and tell him, you know, I respect the man. He's been in the trucking industry a long time, and he knows what he's doing when it comes to trucking. But he doesn't know politics at <laughs> all. He does not understand politics and how to get a message across to somebody. Sometimes uh, you attract more flies with honey. Right. It's That's not, the government isn't going to respond to, hey, change things, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> it just cracks me up, man. I mean, I get, I'm, and don't get me wrong, Black Smoke Matters, if they get in the right mindset with how they can change things, they don't illegally block interstates because that's dangerous and it's also considered a terrorist act. So that's why they've had the FBI on them once again. I, I talked about that before, but, um, you know, if they can respectfully protest, and they can respectfully go to the government and and speak their mind, then I think things might work out. The Facebook page with the new admins looks actually a little bit more organized and a little bit more respectful. There aren't so many shit posts on there mm -hmm. now. Yep, so I hope they do well. I, I do. do, I really do. I, I, I support them. I, I was, you know, following them and I still do, it's just, I can't believe they still let Joe Denny be like a a, a leader because <laughs> he's not a leader. like he's he's the leader of a certain kind of people. <laughs> you know. You know who we're talking about. <laughs> you know about. who we're talking about. <laughs> and that's don't get me wrong. That's not a racist remark or anything. No, no, that's no. a culture cultural uh, cultural cultural <laughs> a, a cultural uh, remark. Right. So. I just wanted to speak on that. I wasn't making no long videos and or anything and posting uh, some nice weather pics or anything. We will have more to come. And uh, I do appreciate 
all the people that have stopped by and subscribed to the channel and uh, checked out our videos and made some nice comments and liked our videos um, you know share our videos come on back you know watch your stuff and uh, uh, we thank you very much we appreciate it we do uh, it's motivated me and to sorry it's motivated it's motivated me to uh, really get into it a little bit and, and start learning the editing process and try to make better videos you know so expect better videos and uh, some good pictures and stuff like that from on the road um, I do have a video I'm gonna post I gotta do some editing and stuff on it about um, chaining and uh, the uh, excuse me <laughs> changing the inverter in the truck we had the inverter go out and um, our company hopefully might reimburse us that's kind of something that's up in the air right now but we just bought a 1500 watt a couple hundred bucks it's uh what's it power uh, i forgot the name of it it's the yellow and black one that you see at the truck stops all the time it's got bluetooth capability where you can set the the uh limits on it as far as the voltage so everybody have a good good day tomorrow and a good evening tonight and it's probably morning time already it's probably past 12 but thanks for coming by and watching our video please hit that like button subscribe hit the bell have a good day happy trails happy trail